Allen once again. And off we go from beautiful College Park. Gabriel Wosu boots it to the end zone. Allison, thank you. He will throw on first down. He goes out wide to the running back, Roman Hemby, who shakes a couple tacklers for a gain of three. Defense coordinator for Penn State, Manny Diaz, said they're like a fantasy football team. They have a lot of different guys that can touch the football, and they will go some tempo today. Second and seven. It's a completion to the near side, and it's Corey Deitches, the tight end for a first down for Maryland. This is a really good defense, Brock. Unbelievably fast at every level. No chop Robinson. So Isaac, their leading sacker, is going to have to continue to step up. Jacobs, the leader, in the middle. And I'll hand it off. This is MB for basically a gain of a yard. They did down the stretch and a close win against Indiana. This is a throw. Tonga Vailoa puts it in the ground at the feet of Deitches. And a flag comes in in the secondary late. Conversation here about whether that ball crossed the line of scrimmage because there was clearly blocking downfield. Personal foul, illegal blind block. Offense number six, 15 yard penalty from the previous spot. It's second down. It's on the receiver, Jay Sean Jones. Yeah, that's the sixth year receiver right here. And you just, in today's college football, you can't do that. And Penn State, by the way, leads the nation in third down yards to go. They are a tremendous third down defense. This is second and 24 for Tonga Vailoa trying to get a chunk of it back. He goes down the middle and he does have a completion to the tight end, Preston Howard out of the McDonough School locally third down. Yeah, really nice job by the group there up front. So they check out of the play, Antoine Littleton, the sophomore tailback is in, and it's a quick hitter out wide, wide receiver screen, Jayshon Jones into space, and he's gonna go down by about half a yard. So a decision for Mike Loxley very early here. Well, he took control, he wants the reins, not a whole lot of hesitation. I think he's going to go for it here. Why not? Out of the shotgun, fourth and one. Littleton won't get it. They go out wide this side, and it's Deitches, and he goes down. Curtis Jacobs was out there along with Jalen Reed, and Penn State takes over. Three straight opening drives without a touchdown against the Penn State defense. And Drew Aller, his first pitch out to Keandre Lambert-Smith, his 64th target of the year from Drew Aller, who took 311 passes to get his first interception, and he responded beautifully. Patron Allen, who prefers to be called Fat Man, he says. That's his words. That's Lambert Smith in motion down to the bottom of the screen. They follow him with Glendon Miller, and they'll throw that way. It's Lambert Smith on a quick hit for a Penn State first down. They ran this exact same third down concept against Ohio State, and they missed it. I love it. You're going to see it's a little rub concept, and it's done beautifully. Sneaky there by Cephas to just get his body in the way, high and behind against Ohio State. Drew Aller has been exceptionally accurate in his Penn State career as you talked about and the question is are the explosive plays in there as well that's been asked all year long and the Maryland defense that he will see is that play is blown dead Catron Allen driven back Dante Trader highlighted there another guy from the McDonough school a lot of those players alumni from there already involved in this game Catron Allen first down zigzagging down to the 16 it's a gain of 15. Aller will pump to the left. He feels the pressure, spits it out wide. Catron Allen, who stuck his foot in the ground on the ground one. You have seen it all season long. And he's been good from the jump. Very, very accurate, as you said, but continue to work through those progressions. Catron Allen again across the 10 and driving the legs down to about the six yard line. That. That was bowling ball stuff. Yeah, that's when you don't want to be a lacrosse player. <laughs> or that's when Dante wishes he had the lacrosse stick, is that forearm goes right through the jaw of Dante Trader. See, Aller just moved the tight ends, Johnson and Warren. Out of the shotgun, Aller lobbing near side for Cephas, no, and he no. dropped it in beautifully, but it's called incomplete. 
Oh, Cephas trying to tightrope. He juggled it out of bounds and could not hang on. Yeah, this is a nice job. Cephas does not have a touchdown this year, and you talk about all the check with me's. Aller knew he had a one-on-one. -on -one. He drops it in where only his guy can get it. Does he have control? That will be the question with a foot in bounds. Looks like the answer is no, although replay looks at every play, and this time they, it seems, will stop the play. The ruling on the field is an incomplete pass. That play is under further review. A terrific throw to the outside. Cephas did a nice job of giving his quarterback room control there. That is going to be very, very close. Dean Blandino, when do you see him gain control on this one-handed catch? I think it's a catch. I like that control with the foot down, but let's see what they think. After further review, the receiver maintained possession of the football with a foot down in the end zone, survived the ground. It is a touchdown. There is the first touchdown for the Kent State transfer, Dante Cephas, and it's Penn State 6 0. Think about what James Franklin said about consistency even when you're not getting the ball. And you pointed out, Dante Cephas played that rub route beautifully yep. to get Lambert Smith open. Watershed drive for the Terrapins because they have lost three in a row. There's the fear of here we go again popping up for this Terrapin offense, which has been a very explosive offense. Well, he even told us, he said, Look, I'm better when I get my feet moving and when I'm having fun at the quarterback position. Colby McDonald is a tailback, and Tungavailoa carries it for about three, getting those feet churning. You see a tight end on the line of scrimmage, but really want to spread this crew out. And there is movement on the defensive line for Penn State. Tunga Vailoa heaves it downfield, and it's caught by Ty Felton. First down, Terrapins. Defense number 33 in the neutral zone at the snap. There's the false the start right there. Talia Result knows he's got a free one right here. Down. Watch him let this rip. Penn State, amongst all of their elite stats, they don't give up big plays of 20 plus. One of the best in the country. Get an explosive right there is Talia. And he said, what really needles him is. Defensive offsides, movement at the line, and he's gotten a little bit of that already today as Shalik Knotts has just his fourth catch of the year. We expected to see a little more of him today. And I love this tempo. Do not let that defense get set. Manny Diaz is going to have to make an adjustment. Quick set once again, coming this way, Octavian Smith Jr., and he's got a first down, and he's hopping excited. Now there they substituted, so that slows them down a little bit. Howard came onto the field, and once again a throw. Once again, Ty Felton, and those short sets and screens are working, although the ball came out, and nobody's blown this dead yet. Zane Durant has the ball for Penn State. Now let's see what they signal. It is Penn State football. This is going to be close, and Isaac comes in with the punishing hit. Sophomore quarterback out of the state of Ohio, Drew Aller, who just threw his first interception at Penn State last year. He whips this one out wide, and it's caught by the tight end, Theo Johnson. Exactly right. This was moving very fast for Maryland. The foul against Caden Wallace, by the way, as Aller wants a middle screen. Theo Johnson jumping catch. And that was kind of off tempo the whole way. Caleb, uh, Caleb Wheatland made the play for Maryland. Aller, lob, this side, and incomplete for Lambert Smith. Yet no touches here for Katron Allen on this drive, and the penalty obviously thwarted that. Third and 19 for Aller. They rush four, and they get there. Aller just has to bench it. How do you counter that if you're Penn State? Run. You like saying we're on Fox television shows, don't you? That's a tough catch, a really tough catch by Tarheep Still. 47th all-time meeting. The graphic says it, so I didn't have to. 42, 3, and 1. It is a very lopsided series, and Maryland knows exactly how big this would be for the program. We have seen some jumpiness at the line so far for Penn State, and that wasn't offside. They have such a trust and understanding. Roxley said, look, I know him as well as anybody on this team as Deitches has the catch on a gain of nine. It'll be third down and one. Allison, what do you have? Third down and one. Littleton gummed up and down he goes. Yikes. Penn State massive pressure. Yeah, look at this movement right here. This has been the problem point, the pressure point for Maryland. 
couple different centers, couple different left guards. A little surprise that you're running to one of your weaknesses against that girth and strength as you see Penn State get on an edge, sell out, and get into that backfield. That was Daquan Hardy in there as well, and there's so much pressure coming from the defensive backfield for Penn State. He was the first one in there along with the defensive tackles as the Nittany Lions will have it on the return from Hardy, and he kept his feet. He's still going. Hardy is finally dropped. He stayed upright. Well, I think people have found a little recipe there is don't let those guys target you. Play action for Allery. Throws it out wide, and that is Lambert Smith taking a jagged step outside in second and short. Some of that is predictability, right? I mean, they're 60% run on first down and second down, and they are breaking that tendency here. This is an Aller run right up the middle. And it's a first down and we did not know until yesterday when we were talking to the Penn State coaches what kind of offense he ran in high school. A, a, a ton of an old QB he had at Oklahoma State. Mason Rudolph who could chuck it as well. It's a handoff on first down and it is Singleton for a couple of yards. Barham to stop. To be clear this is regulation shotgun that's five yards deep. Yes. Eight yards looks egregious when you watch it on tape. Aller a pump. He goes down the middle. Great hands by Lambert Smith. First down and then some for Penn State. Corey Coley had to run him down, but Keandre Lambert Smith gets 44. You're going to see the slant route come in here. Just that man-to-man -man beater. And instead of instead of Cephas there, the first time, that time it is Lambert Smith getting the payday with the slant behind it. I love that concept. You said it, Aller going through his progressions. He did so there as he's got time to scan and load up and throw, and that's right on target for Warren. And Tyler Warren has first and goal Penn State. For Penn State so far today, and it has worked out very well for the Nittany Lions. This is a handoff. It's Singleton right into the muck for about half of what he needs, second and goal. And as Aller comes over to the sideline here, so Bo Pribula comes in, the freshman quarterback out of the state of Pennsylvania. He has run the ball a bunch when he's been in the game for Penn State. Second and goal. It's a run as expected, and he's got about a yard, and that's it. Look at this. Now you're going to have two QBs in the game. <laughs> Well, you had one, then you have the other, and now the question is who's going to take the snap here? How will they break the huddle, or will they actually snap it on third and goal? It's Aller calling the play, and Prabula out wide. Now they'll move him back into the shotgun and see if he takes the snap. Prabula on the flip. It's Aller breaking it down, shoveling it for the touchdown. Oh, what an ad lib for Theo. Johnson. With pressure in my face, I'm going to use my strength. I'm going to use my eyes. I'm going to process the game. And I'm going to get it to Johnson for the 11th touchdown for these tight ends. I wonder if at the end of the Indiana game, we saw Penn State's confidence offensively build off that first interception from Allen. That was all three of those influences in one play. If we're being honest, as this kickoff will go into the end zone, and Maryland will have it with a problem on its hands from the 25 yard line. Final play, quarter number one. Pressure coming right up the middle, and down he goes. It was Abdul Carter on the blitz for Penn State. The good news is Talia Tungavailoa is 10 for 10 in that first quarter for the Maryland Terrapins. And this throw is on the money for Deitches, the tight end. And he goes ramming through a couple of guys, including Kalen King, third and short. But this has been the problem. It's Abdul Carter nosing up to the line along with Kevin Winston Jr. Third and three. This throw is a little high, but caught. It's Deitches once again. Tied a career high six catches last week against Northwestern. He has five already today. Under siege, Tonga Vailoa, who was sacked six times last week. Hakeem Beeman got in this time. No energy drinks pregame ever. Second and 18, Tonga Vailoa to throw. Going sideline, what an adjustment. Caden Prather's first catch, and that was Sterling. That is so good from Prather. Another completion from Tonga by Loa, even fighting through the grab of King to go and get it done. The transfer from West Virginia. Seriously, look at all of the mess at Penn State. They try to show one thing and blitz from another spot and confuse you. A little bit easier and simpler out on the perimeter. 
14 for 14. Smith, this catch. Let's try to see what that picture is that Manny Diaz is presenting. It's a run. It's Tonga Vailoa. And he's pursued beautifully. Man, did they string that out well. Curtis Jacobs. This might be two plays to get nine yards. What do you think? As long as this one doesn't go backwards. It already has five times. Five tackles for loss today for Penn State. Here comes a corner blitz once again. Johnny Dixon got home. Uh, you said backwards? Yes. Look at all those guys looking like they're coming, and then you see Dixon just sneak in. They are so savvy at that, Benetti. It is why their secondary now has seven sacks on the season just from the secondary. You try not to get frustrated, and you can see it right there for talking about Lois. So many good plays, so much efficiency. Yet the big plays have all been for Penn State. And they get there, and it sounded like they got a piece of that, but it almost was only just the kicker, I think. I think they only got the punter Spanglers, so that is going to be a penalty and likely 15. I thought I heard a double hit at first, but instead, I think they just got first the punter. Roughing the kicker. Number two. 15 yard penalty. If you take that angle, if you're. Liam Clifford right here, then you cannot miss. I am Mr. Punter, okay? Tory Taylor for Heisman. Go away, Heward. First down for Maryland off the penalty. And it's a handoff for Hemby, and he is snowed under. Abdul Carter, among others. They just cannot run. And that time, tremendous vision from Kobe King as well. And it's a handoff instead, and that's not going anywhere. Hemby got about half a yard. Devon Ellis with the stop, third and long again. I mean, it isn't just, you know, they've taken no. some shots and hit him down the field. The problem is a negative 28 rushing yards. He packs the ball, he throws, and that is there. It's a first down for Caden Prather and Maryland. 15 in a row. This is a little bit of zone coverage, and that is why Prather is able to get inside and for Tunga Bailoa to have a window to throw a tremendous catch on his back hip. Tonga Bailoa again. That's in the catch radius for Ty Felton. And with a marker coming in late on the hit by Johnny Dixon, we will check and see who the penalty's on. As the Maryland fans in gold are starting to get excited about this drive. Calls up play both against the defense. Illegal substitution, defense number four. That penalty is declined. Personal foul. Unnecessary roughness, number three. That penalty enforced half the distance to the goal. Includes an off deck first down. Oh, no, actually, unless it's the toss here, not the hit, but after the whistle right here. Yeah, the pick up and throw. From Talia Tungavailoa, who's 16 for 16 now. Pump fake. He tucks, he rolls, he throws, and he's got it for the touchdown to Roman Hemby, the Maryland native. Making something out of nothing. We saw Aller do it on the other side on a beautiful play down in the red zone. And after getting ha hit and sacked and hurried and pressured, you stand tall. You deliver 13 plays, a seven minute drive after that roughing the punter in exactly what Maryland had to have. For Roman Hemby, who was undervalued out of high school, didn't go to an athletic powerhouse. Maryland had three unsportsmanlike penalties last week that really hurt him and led to points for Northwestern. And Penn State feeling that burn right now. First down, Penn State. They haven't seen the ball for a while, and this is a run. And it's Katron Allen's first carry since the opening drive when he went for four for 29. Second down. Singleton's third carry. Allen has four. He hasn't seen the ball for a while. Second and seven. And Aller a little bit high and on target for Lambert Smith once again. That's his fifth grab. He's so about 40 more targets than anybody else on the roster coming into today. He has six targets this afternoon already. Aller, this is a throw. Lambert Smith loads it up down the middle and too much. He wanted Tyler Warren, and it's second down coming up. Second down, Singleton once again. He churns the legs for about six yards. They were trying to create an explosive play there. They had a couple late against Indiana, but it just has not been the way of this offense. Isaac Bunyan, the defensive tackle from Ghana, who was down and hurt. Two tight ends, including Johnson in motion. 
On a third and four, fake it for Singleton and a run for Aller. It's a first down off a block from Singleton. Aller had a jersey malfunction thanks to Tarheeb. Still, it's a gain of 21 with some cloth gone. Yeah, and this is not QB drop. He is trying, Aller is, to throw this to the quick screen, trying to run a little concept to the tight end. Maryland overplays it, kind of like he did on that touchdown, Benetti. He reads it, he processes it, and he doesn't hesitate. Part of Aller's jersey is still on the ground to the <laughs> left of his foot right there. You see that? There's a string of it at the 41-yard line. <laughs> Down to the wardrobe department after this play. Allison asked him, did you feel freer after the first interception? Did they get the load off? And he said, no, but it certainly looks like yes. That's a laser for Tyler Warren at a first down. That's what's important, that every rep matters in its own space. Allard loads a time. He throws and incomplete. Too much for Theo Johnson. Late handoff. Singleton. Got an execute here. Third down and eight. A lot of crowd surrounding him. He's looking around, making a call. A lot of checking for Maryland, too. Third and eight. That's right on target. Dante Cephas, first and goal. <laughs> So Bo Prabula is in again. The freshman quarterback we saw in at the goal line last time. They ran that trick play. He has it in his hand. This is design run, and he trips up on his own accord. Braid was closest. It'll be second and goal. That's the second time, and it was faster new this time, where he just trips over. Is this first and foremost manner zone? I love this. Look at him scan. Look at he's looking at all of that coverage, trying to figure out first and foremost manner zone. Answer start now. Second down and goal for Aller. His throw end zone. It's a touchdown, Tyler Warren. But I'm not seeing this on tape. He told us this week, man, I just want to cut it loose. I want to let it rip. And that looks like the guy that played for Larry Laird in high school throwing 40 dimes. It was really like a human catapult. Right, just throw it up in the air, have somebody run underneath it. I think I said to you, this is a quarterback's dream. <laughs> that's, right. that's, kind of, that's kind of fun. A number of schools that can lay claim to tight end you. Pat Fryermuth, Kyle Brady, so many have come through Penn State. That is a non-exhaustive list. I didn't forget people, I just don't have time. Tunga Vailoa, 17 in a row to open this ball game, as you saw. After the aquatic life went splashing down. That's a drop. Perfect. Okay. You did it a week ago I with did. an interception. Look, now you do it again. Can I second down and ten. That I have called two no hitters in my career, and I said no hitter the whole time. Anyway, second and ten. The analyst didn't give the play-by-play -play guy much room, but it is Deitches on the catch, and it's third down and long coming up. Deluke is coming, and Tonga Vailoa rolling to his right, and he throws for a first down. Jay Sean Jones. 13 career receiving touchdowns, top seven in Maryland history for Jones. Tonga Vailoa drops it off to the near side, and the tight end, Howard, and downstairs, Allison. And the third quarter coming up is where Penn State has not allowed a point all year. But you're right, Allison, and they have to have this drive right here because they do not get the ball out of halftime as this goes sailing to the sideline. There's nobody. Yeah, nobody home, yep. and did it get to the line of scrimmage? It got to the line. There is nobody. He's between the tackles, and this is going to be a roughing, or excuse me, an intentional grounding, as you will see. I mean, look at him once again. Just total confusion, an unblocked defender coming. That would be a run out. Intentional run grounding. I should say. Offense number three. Robbie placed at the spot of foul. Lost it down. Because we're under one minute and the clock was running, a 10 second run up option is available. That mess, no matter where it's coming from. All that movement. Dixon backs off, so does DeLuca. It's a throw. Tonga by low, a sideline, and that's Deitches, the tight end, getting the foot in for a first down. Make sure they're all on the same page with a book that's hard to read. It comes a safety blitz, and that forced the speed up. Jones was in space, and it's incomplete. And it was going to be one-on-one. -on -one. Well, Maryland and Jack House, as long as 48. They want seven, though, if they can find it. Short set, throw it out wide. It's caught by Smith. And 30 seconds to go. Maryland has one timeout. They use that final timeout. Including Chop Robinson, who is out today, the former Maryland Terrapin, back at home. 
And that screen went nowhere. Well, it went down and horizontal with Roman Hemby. <laughs> but to have minus 20. Eight yards rushing in the first half and be within two scores. <laughs> and by the miracle. I was going to say, by the way, this would be a 21 nothing game if not for the roughing the punter. Yep. Well, you think about the fix that he wanted to make as he's going to take a knee here. The fix he wanted to make, he told us, was give the receivers a little more time to let them do their work. He had heard the criticism of the other wide receivers, right? And he said, sometimes I have to be patient with them and let them go through what they're going through to get open. I believe he's done that. and let those instincts come to life. Felt that in the first 30 minutes. He will have the ball first, barring a catastrophe on his kickoff return. The first time we've seen one of those today, and Nick Singleton probably made the wrong decision. He's executing on third downs and sustaining drives. We have to be better when they bring pressure and utilize our screen game effectively there. He said, we have the plays called. We've got to execute. A lot of sacks recently for Maryland. They led in the last three weeks. And a late handoff that is Katron Allen amazing his way and driving the legs for a first down. But against a Michigan crew next week, the best of the best, whose stats are even better than yours are, you've got to show this run. Allen play action. A lot of first down throw today for Penn State. This one is on the money to the fringe, and Theo Johnson, a tight end, navigates his way to the 40 for a gain of 12. And two teams that like to grind you down to a nub with their offensive lines. First down again, a throw for Allen. This is a launch down the field near side for Lambert Smith. There are markers down, two markers down in the backfield. Allard took a hit. Personal foul, roughing the passer, defense number 40. 15 yard penalty includes an automatic first down. It's on Johnson who was coming on the last play as well and didn't get there. Yeah, that's just frustration. The big man here, this isn't even, this isn't even close. Usually I give these guys a little benefit of the doubt. I mean, that is, that just can't happen. Katron Allen, a little hesitation, and then he stabs his way across the 40-yard line. Yeah, the more I see the patience and the size, I see a lot of Lindell White. How about that? That's high praise, certainly. Aller pump it, and he throws a little too much on it. Third down coming up. They have two tight ends in the ball game. And they will run it on third down and four. And Allen driving the legs, trying to run through the tackle of Glendon Miller. And it's fourth down at about a yard and a half. He's going to hit him right here, have him at the 40. And then he's going to get carried for almost four yards to make this a go for situation. Good time to mention Glendale White before that one. Fourth down and one coming up. It's play action. Aller rolling to the right. He's got a free runner. It's a first down for Dinkins, the third tight end. From the outskirts of the red zone. It's a lob near side. End zone knocked away. Caden Saunders the target. Glendon Miller punched it out. Aller short set goes out wide for the screen, and Cephas is going nowhere. Big hit from Tarheeb still, and it's third down and 10. Third and ten. Lambert Smith is about three yards short off the block from Cephas. So if you're Penn State, do you take the points here? Alex Felkins from 31, the Columbia transfer for the Nittany Lions to make it a three-score game. And this is true. Penn State opening drive, second half. A field goal, 24 to 7 for a Nittany Lions team that saw 22 completions against it in the first half run. And facing a defense that has not allowed a third quarter point all season long. The Penn State Nittany Lions, Hemby, stiff arm and no dice. Man, oh man, what a tackle on the perimeter by K.J. Winston. Tonga Bailoa to throw to the outside and Deitches once again with catch number eight of his evening. And you watch third quarter and you say, why aren't they scoring? There's your answer. Third and six. Down he goes again. Another sack of Tonga Bailoa. It is Isaac, their sack leader. Well, you can't protect it because you don't have a picture of who's coming. And then guys with like, like Isaac with elite speed and finishing power. 
bring you down. Love the story of Adisa Isaac. He has three siblings, all with developmental disabilities, and he has said over and over again that that is who he plays for. And man, has he had a marvelous Ooh. season. Ooh. High snap, tough snap to Corral. Allard did so, and he's got it to hand off to Singleton. <laughs> Well, it just sets the rhythm and timing off everything, right? And gets your eyes on the ball instead of the eyes that we saw earlier on that secondary. Second and seven throw to the fringe, and it'll set up third down and short. Omari Evans with the catch. That was Lambert Smith in motion out of the backfield on a third down and two. Aller fading this direction, launching this direction. Lambert Smith couldn't find it. And I think Franklin's telling him there, that's all right, man. Right decision, right place. Just try to give that QB and receiver that combo. Those two would have been pretty devastating this season, a chance to connect. Riley Thompson on the punt. We'll check with StatCast on the route there. A lot at stake here for Penn State. As the weeks tick off, they will play Michigan next week. Right here on Fox Big New. First down, Tonga Vailoa to throw on the backfield. Nice catch by Littleton. No, he didn't hang on to it. Second down coming up. Never seen anybody more excited for Strep. There's a marker in. Tonga Vailoa climbing the pocket and throwing, and that's right there. It's a first down for Octavian Smith, barring the penalty. We saw the offsides earlier in the neutral zone. Offside. Defense number 36. The penalties declined. The result of the play is the first down. So it's a 20 yard gain that will stand on the foul against Zariah Fisher. No runner has positive yards for Maryland today. Tonga Vailoa, they run it perfectly. That is on the ground. They're going to call it incomplete. It was Daquan Hardy just ramming through the football and the bubble screen for Smith. That's Carter inching up toward the line. Here it comes. Abdul Carter did get chipped, and it's still incomplete. He sped up the clock anyway. I mean, look at the difference between these two, and both of them knocked Terps to the ground. That's how am I coming from? Where am I coming from? Where's the pressure? Here's the heat again. They got a hand on him. There's a marker down, and Tonga Vailoa just heaves it up into the middle of the field, and it is incomplete. That was Dennis Sutton on the pressure. Offense, number 66, the penalty is declined. It's fourth down. Yeah, I mean, just once again, I think it's actually Glaze here that's got a whole fistful, may, might be here. <laughs> I think both of them, who, who do you want to throw the takedown on? Because it's multiple defenders. Well, I said it earlier, a little bit of Leah's legs, a little bit of the quick game. And I think, frankly, now your defense is going to have to take some more risks. We'll see what that looks like in terms of what Penn State Dials up. Syracuse, tough night last night too, but nothing like that. Nothing like that. Katron Allen bursts through, and now Penn State really leans on you as he just throws himself for 19. How do you keep inertia going downhill? Katron Allen for about a yard for Penn State. It takes some working, but there is opportunity out there. Aller for Cephas, and he just blitzes through. Jaquan Shepard, first down. Since Dante Cephas, the way he says it, though, Pittsburgh accent is just Dante Cephas, Penn Hills High School in Pittsburgh. So went to high school with Hardy, who you were talking about on the previous drive, and that's incomplete for Tyler Warren. He's played a good ball game, consistent ball game today. He had a massive game here with Penn State. And Sean Lewis a couple of years ago, 151 yards and a touchdown. And he's got another grab this time. Dante Cephas from midfield. It's a handoff, and it is a first down for Katron Allen at Penn State. Allen said, Theo, 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 come over this way. And that's why he's going to go to Theo Johnson. Just rise, continue to elevate your game. An opportunity tomorrow. Huge game coming up. Here is Lambert Smith on the block from Cephas, and he whips his way across the line to gain. Dante Cephas has been very involved yep. without the ball in his hands today. Let it go. It's a run once again. It is Allen and tornadoing his way through a couple of tackles. 
Yeah, he's liking what he's seeing, man. This has been a championship effort, and once again, a big fat goose egg for that defense in the third quarter. Second down for Drew Aller. Late safety coming, and he throws it high and incomplete for DeAndre Lambert Smith. If you're Maryland, trailing 24 7. Off three straight losses, Penn State off a win against Indiana. And a third down run, Katron Allen ducking for contact, and it'll be fourth down and about two. We've also run 55 plays already, 12 more than Maryland has. Fourth and two throw, he knew what he wanted, he's got the tight end, and it's Tyler Warren for a first down Penn State. This tight end room has just been mammoth for them. Yeah, well this was awesome timing. Bo Braid, it looks like, down on the sideline, he was involved with the tackle. Second time he's been hurt today, the senior River Hill High School here in Maryland. Penn State driving when we come back. Haller, Enzo, and Cephas. He has been Mr. Tightrope today. And he's just going to run a go route here, but he doesn't just run the sideline. You see how he gets into still just a little bit, Jason? Once again, that's, a, that's the details. Dante Cephas, who played at Kent State for Sean Lewis, who was inventive, inventive enough as a play caller that Deion Sanders went and got him to go to Colorado, and Cephas has broken out today in a big way for Penn State. If they can stretch the field, if they can hit those shots down the field, this offense and this team becomes very, very difficult to tangle with. It's a roster that's better on paper than Northwestern, better right now than Illinois. But even better on the scoreboard. Tunga by Loa to the sideline. Coming into today, their remaining schedule was at 26 and 6. The 2.3 yards per rush will get better too. That's nearly intercepted. Almost picked off by Carter Allison. This has been the adjustment, Allison. It was about the second quarter that they went to these just junk ball, funky pressure looks. Flat six guys chasing Carter going this way. They flow the other direction for McDonald, the running back. He gets hit late, and they could throw a marker, but the whistle hadn't really come. So Dominic DeLuca won't get the penalty, and it's fourth down. Yes, they will. Slow snap. Here comes Carter. Tunga Vailoa incomplete, and there is a flag down from the backside. So this looks like it's going to be a hold. Pass interference. Mm. Defense number three. The ball replaced at the spot of the foul includes an automatic first down. Yeah, just right here, and we've seen the advantage of the bigger and stronger Penn State tight ends. Johnny didn't love it. Tonga Bailoa trying to break it down and avoid the rush. They got a hold of his foot, and he somehow spat it out for Jayshon Jones. There is a marker in as Tonga Bailoa went down. That flag was late and in the offensive backfield. I think it's the freebie by Personal the D lineman on the O line. Roughing the passer. Defense number 33 contact to the head of the quarterback. Mm. 15 yard penalty is added to the end of the run, includes an automatic first down. It's denied Dennis Sutton, and he wasn't the guy that had the leg. It was Kobe King that got in there first. But Talia to, to doing all he can to survive. That is not a hit to the head, though. I can understand why it looked that way. He's 26 for 35, but he has been battered today. Another bubble screen, and this one finally has a tunnel for Prather. Finally, some space to work through for Maryland. First down throw. Tunga by Loa waits for the break and gets it out wide for Ty Felton this time through the car wash. Somehow stays in bounds. Oh my goodness gracious. That was absolutely insane. <laughs> he's not quitting. I mean, he's going to be your inside receiver right here and just finds a little bit of space to operate on. We call that a whip route. And then it's, well, whipping through one. Two, three, four Nittany Lions to put the ball at the one. We didn't have time to show you every tackle he broke. He broke so many. First down and goal, Tunga Vailoa to the end zone, right at the goal line, and that is a touchdown for Jay Sean Jones. And now to pump some more oxygen into this, it would be a two-point conversion to make it a two-score game. One on one. 
to the top. Sprint that way again. It's the short side. Tonga Valoa whistles it out of bounds, and a penalty comes in again against Penn State. They've been called for five that have been taken for nearly 60 yards already, and Johnny Dixon's like, what did I do again? Well, what she did was unfortunately grab, and then that contact kept Prather from getting to the pylon. You put your hand on somebody, but once you pull and then pee, defense number three. The penalty is enforced half the distance to the goal line. Redo the try. Right, because oftentimes in these matchups, both guys put their hands on them, right? You see Prather put his hand, but once you tug and you hold and you impede that receiver's opportunity to go get it, you're going to draw the penalty. It's all been on the perimeter this afternoon. Sean Greeley is in as the fullback, and this is a dive to the end zone. Littleton lost the football, but he is in. It's a two-point conversion. The football came out, but it's ruled that he broke the plane, so count it for two. And there is some belief in here. This is a 16-point game with 11 and change to go. The return Singleton. He's got a convoy and he's got a crease. Singleton across midfield. Trying to squash that belief. Singleton on first down. It's a throw for Aller. A nice times over the middle. Lambert Smith. First down, Nittany Lions. He is down and he's grabbing his left leg. Oh my goodness. Keandre Lambert Smith. By far the most productive wide receiver on this team. Malik McLean is on down at the bottom of the formation in for Lambert Smith. Yeah, one on one, this is going to be a vertical. Sure is. End zone incomplete. Warren got his mitts on it, but he ran out of real estate. Aller on the run, and he's going to be a yard short. T formation. Push it. Drive it. First down. Now, this is going to be something different, you have to imagine. On first and goal, it's a handoff to Patron Allen, and Allen continues to move and drive. And bulldoze! Like a piece of farm equipment. Where was he? He's going to get behind and he's going to run right through this tackle, and that's the big one. Barham has got a hold of him, and then it's over. And then there are three, four Nittany Lions. Hey, man, they want that 100 yard day. Well, told the play is a touchdown after the play was over on sportsmanlike conduct. Offense number 84. That 15 yard penalty being forced on the ensuing kickoff. I love that he loves the nickname his mom gave him. He called him Fat Man as a kid, and he embraces it. He says, call me that. James Franklin calls him that. These are some diehard fans that enjoy this brand of football. James Franklin said, look, we have a huge alumni base here. They do recruit it heavily, as that's the last thing James Franklin wants. To kick off out of bounds up 23. With those guys out west. First down, Tonga Vailoa to throw. It's intercepted. DeLuca with a marker in. Dominic DeLuca, the former walk-on at Penn State, now wearing prestigious number zero, has an interception. I think that's going to stand because it was a hold on the left guard, Moran. Holding office number 70. The penalty decline. The result of the play is a first down and 10, Penn State. This is Mickey Andrews said, you're coaching next year's team. Lots of depth. This is Perbula and the freshman quarterback. The music's still blaring. So Perbula, who's been in on some red zone stuff, stays in here, and that is Singleton, who you have something in common with, former Gatorade National Player of the Year. Third down and eight, just happened on television this time. Third and eight. Perbula for the end zone, and it's incomplete. It was Dante Trader, the lacrosse star, who got his hands on the ball but couldn't bring it in. I felt tonight, Jason, some confidence oozing from their sophomore QB. Falcons on the kick here. But you want you want to see evolution over the course yes, of the do. season, right? For Maryland, had it gone the other direction today, it would have been a huge victory in Penn State. 311 passes.
passes without a pick. And now here comes pressure again right up the middle. He lost the football, and Penn State is on top of it. Tony Rojas punched it out. And it's Jordan Vandenberg who covers it up. Well, all he is is a true freshman. And we have seen his buddy Abdul Carter in front of him. And Rojas and DeLuca putting on a show. Tribula out wide and incomplete for Trey Potts and second down coming up. You see in the corner, Cowboys Eagles coming up tomorrow. Huge one in the NFC East next week. Penn State and Michigan. Here's Tribula again. And JJ McCarthy with a lot more history under his belt in college football, but Aller gaining on him with games like today as there's Tribula on the run. Good play. Here we go. He scored on it a moment ago with Allen, and it is going to be straight ahead and just tunneling like the end of Shawshank Redemption. Here we go. Somebody down there saying power, power, power over and over again, and the perfect guy to run out of the power tee is Tank Smith. Play action out of the power tee. Tribula giving ground and finally wasted by Quayshawn Fuller. Third and 22. Tribula running behind Trey Potts gets to the fringe and then slides nearly out of bounds. Stay in bounds, keep that clock running. Smart football. And it's good. You know, it might be a little bit of a stalemate, Penn State and Michigan. Obviously, Michigan's still unbeaten. They play Purdue tonight, but when you look at the record, you need a QB that could be a difference maker. I mean, think about those Ohio State teams, think about Haskins, and think about Stroud, and think about first-round quarterbacks. This guy can be what J.J. McCarthy has been for Harbaugh because he, too, if you put that graphic <laughs> with him versus Ohio State in those matchups, not very good until J.J. came to town. Billy Edwards, Jr., intercepted. Picked off by Tony Rojas, who's had himself a fourth quarter. Wow. That is just piling up on Maryland now with four giveaways. Out wide for Potts on a swing pass. And Potts is thrown out of bounds. And they will wind the clock. Allison, what do you have? Big plays in that game against Indiana that they don't want to see on tape. Rebula on the run. He's got the first down, and he's got the end zone. Touchdown. Halfway to 100 for Penn State. Oliva Venga Yawana leading the way. Extra point is good. Means as one-dimensional as you could possibly be. And it's just fall on it here. So 125 to go. And while Talia made some extraordinary plays, and their receivers for a couple of those touchdown scoring drives. It's just not sustainable to be one dimensional against these guys. We could talk about Danny's influence in that room and what he's meant to your sitch and crew. And there's some more negative yards. I mean, they just swarm and swarm and swarm again. That's Keon Wiley, the freshman from Philadelphia. But there's gonna be like six or seven plays that will define the outcome. It feels like that. I would agree with you. I mean, they, they show up in the college football playoff. If Penn State wins next week, they've knocked off one of the five remaining unbeatens, if that many still exist. But today, they put their flag right here in College Park, 51 50.